Everyone is hearing about the new OpenAI Developers Day and the new OpenAI features, let's dive deep into those new features using the OpenAI Laravel package, first let's download the package using the composer require then the package name, I have already downloaded the package so I will skip that part, then we will need to publish it using this command and I have already done this. Now let's go into our config folder in the new OpenAI file, you will need to set your key and then we need to. Edit the timeout to 100 because 30 is very low, now let's go to our code, let's first try to create a new audio using the new OpenAI package, first we need to call the OpenAI and then we will use the audio method, and we will chain the speech method to it. The speech method will take three arguments, the first one is the model that we will use and let's use the TTS1HD, then we will add the input which is the message that we want, let's say hello world, then we will need to specify which voice we want to use, there is a lot of voices you can check them from the OpenAI website, but here let's choose this one. After that we need to use the file put contents method to create a file and put the content inside of it, we will use the base path of our project, and let's name the file audio and then we need to pass it the actual data that we got so let's say speech, and now when we run our code we will get audio file and we will find it in our project, Next let's try to use the simple chat GPT bot to talk to. First we will use the chat method and then we will chain the create method to it. The create method takes two arguments, the first one is the model that we will use so let's use the GPT-3. 5 turbo, and the second one is the message, the message can take two arguments, the first one is the role and we will set our role to user, and the second one is the content so we will add hello message to it and then to get the output of the message we will use this path that we took from the documentation, and now if we try it we will get the response from the AI, the third one is the create image API. We will pass the API the description of the image we need and it will create the image for us, now let's see how it works, first we will use the images method and then we will chain the create method to it, in the create method we will pass three arguments, the first one is the prompt that we need, so we will describe the image that we want to create, let's say we want to create an avatar for a user named George. Then we need to specify how many images we want so we will say one image, then we need to specify the size of the image, so let's say 512 by 512, now let's return the URL of the image the AI just created for us, to do that we need to use this path, and now if we try it we will get the image URL. If you like this video and want more Laravel content check the video that is popping on your screen and subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching.